Alright, so before we leave the beautiful town of Violet City, I'm going to give you a scenic tour in about 20 seconds of the stuff around the town. So, first off, over here in the northwestern corner, we have a wiggly tree, which is quite similar to the wiggly beam, except it does not support a building, and we have no idea what it is, it's just so mysterious. And these are the ruins of Alf. Not Alf as in the creepy anteater puppet thingy that freaks me out, but Alf as in alphabet, and I'm not gonna mess around in there because there ain't nothing to do yet. So I'm in this new route set of Violet City that will take you to the Union Cave, which links you to Azalea Town. And first off, I pick an apricorn because those are so useful. This man is like, wait, wait, I have something to give you. And this time it's um a... <laughs> What's it called? Miracle Berry, which boosts your um, grass attacks, which is helpful if you got a Chikorita, but nothing else, or if you got a Bellsprout, if you're crazy. So, um, who cares? I'm going down this route with my Cindy Quill, and we're gonna fight this first youngster trainer, and he's all like, hey, battle time. I'm like, all right. Damn, no. Um, so he does send out a red attack, and I have my new Ghastly on my team. I got it from the Poke Walker. You haven't seen it yet. Um, sorry, I forgot to show me transferring it over. It was pretty boring. I'm like, oh my god, a Ghastly, and then I transferred it over, and it was level eight or, or ten, actually level ten, because I leveled it up on the Poke Walker. And you'll see him later on when I have him following me around. But for now, Cyndaquil is leveled up to level 14. <gasps> what does that mean? What does it all mean? And um, you'll see in a minute. So Swablu's so out there owning oh, no, some Zubats, because that's what he does best. And so just pecks, pecks them to death. And um, yeah, just go at it. Just go. Well, sorry the, qui the quiet's a bit left the quiet's a bit music. Um, sorry the music is a bit quiet. It's sort of dumb and stuff like that. But deal. And guess what's gonna happen now that I beat the trainer and now that my Cyndaquil level. Yeah, it's really obvious, but whatever. I'm gonna be quiet. Trainers, if you said cool lava, you were right! No, um, seriously, it is cool lava, because that's what Kago turned into, because Cyndaquil evolved, and this is Cyndaquil's last stage of cuteness, so let's all savor it together. So it flashes into daytime because I fell asleep, and, um, I'm just talking to my cool lava, and he tells me he loves me, I'm like, alright, you're cool. So, um, I decided to switch him to the back, since I don't want to get him too overleveled, and I switch my whoopa to the front, because whoopa needs some time in the spotlight, or else he's gonna not like me, and I love level them up all evenly, it just makes me feel good inside. And so I run up here where there's a cut tree, I'm like, I don't know how to cut things, don't tell me I need to cut things, and so I can't talk to the fat guy up there, but um, I can light up caves, Ooh, I should have gone in that cave, it would have been so fun, but I didn't. And um, so here's a picnic or emo girl sitting in a little emo corner of like a mountain, what are you doing there, what are you doing, she's like totally lost, Where you go find your freaking scout leader and report to her and get your little badge of like, I sat in an emo corner for 10 hours. So that's where she is with her little Mitteran playing with her Mitteran. And um, yeah, so I killed the Mitteran. She's all like, boo hoo. So she's like, whatever. Can I have, like, no, I'm not gonna take her phone number because she is so irresponsible. She got lost and she's gonna get kidnapped one day. And she's gonna be like, maybe I can call this Annie girl. I'm like, I'm not gonna care. I don't wanna have to put myself through that for her. So I don't. And I switch my new Ghastly to the front. And now people are gonna like walk up to me and go like, it's a I'm like, yes, it's a ghost. It's Ghastly. I'm not cursed, okay? So um, I have to walk around with this Ghastly following me, and everyone's gonna be giving me like shifty lenses. Like, am I hallucinating? No, you're not. It's Ghastly. So, um,. I go down this place, and oh my gosh, oh my gosh, it's like the electric railroad thing, oh my gosh, I totally forgot about that, I'm like, whoa, what is that, and then it like dawned on me, it was like, sunrise, and I was like, ah, that's the electric railroad thing, so it is so cool, and it's like casting shadow over top of these nasty fishermen, so these stupid fishermen are gonna get owned by my ghosts, because you know, they've never seen a ghost, they're like, oh my god, it's a ghost, and so, that stupid plague, they're taking you to sleep, and I'm like, ugh, don't do that, so, um, it's squirting water everywhere, wasting time, and it's like, you know what, when I wake up, I'm going to put you to sleep, and I do, so it's like, yeah, 
Poliwag takes some of your own freaking medicine. Is <laughs> like over there taking his medicine, I guess. And I'm like, yeah, I'm just gonna lick you to death. So, um, licking things is so funny. I don't even know why it's a Pokemon attack. It's just sort of ridiculous. Like, what if someone sent out a Gengar? It's like, Gengar, use lick. And he's like, blah. And I'm like, ew. So, um,. Yeah, Lick is an hilarious, it's a hilarious attack, and I keep putting him to sleep because, like, I do not forgive you once you put me to sleep. No, no, no. So, my Ghastly is so sad, and half my Pokemon I'm using right now are from my Pokewalker, because Pokewalker is so fun, even though it's cheap at times. So, here is the next man, and he has the Forbidden Fish Magikarp. Yeah, what else? So, um... It's flopping around. I'm gonna lick it to death. I get a critical lick. What? And it dies. <laughs> critical lick? Um, whatever. <laughs> That's so weird. So now I don't wanna feel, I don't feel like putting up with licking these things to death anymore. So, um, I decided to send out my swablu. Yes, you do. Well, after I learn Curse, the stupid Ghastly wants to learn Curse. Curse is the freakiest thing ever. It's like this needle goes into his head, and then it goes into your Pokemon's head, and it's, it's gross, and they kill themselves. It's only funny if another Pokemon does it and kills itself, and then it's like, la 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 And, um, so, yeah, you know, Swablu is just gonna own these Magikarps with this merciless pecking. And so, now the Magikarp is deceased. I didn't say it died, I said it deceased. It deceased. It deceased. Um, and now he has OMFG, overleveled, Magikarp at level 15. What am I going to do with myself at level 15? What is this? Since what do wild trainers have at level 15? Wild trainers? What? Wild trainers? But seriously, why, why is it level 15? Okay, so I was freaking out for a bit, but I'm like, whoosh, that was difficult. So, um, it tackled me, and this guy obviously doesn't take a hint that, you know, you've got to have high level Pokemon, so he goes back to level 5, and it's like, ah, screw that. So, um, that's the end of the battle. Give me your money. Okay, run away. And I switch... Mr. Kago to the front because I want him to own a fisherman because yeah that's what he does best and this fisherman actually has a decent Pokemon and he's the only one you actually have to fight if you decide to go down the bridge and not talk to the ones staring into the water. They're not even doing like a fishing animation, they're just sort of like I'm looking in this water and maybe some kind of fish will come along and I'll strike my arm into the water and pull it out and gnaw on its face. But no, that's not what fishermen do. They're just sort of dumb. And so he puts me all dizzy. I'm like, I don't care, quick attack the end. So that was easy. Um I should get an easy button. That'd be so funny. I'd be like, that was easy. I don't even know. Do they still sell those? So, um, whatever. There should be a Pokemon easy button. So the guy wants my phone number. I'm like, no. What do you know? So <laughs> I just leave. And he like, gives me this long speech about how depressed he is just fishing all day. And I don't care. So back to normal speed. We'll be walking through the forest. And here's the last little youngster dude. And guess what he has? He has a whoopa, so I'm like, oh, you have a whooper? I have a whooper. Do you want to see my whooper? So I send out my whooper. It's like, look, our whoopers can be friends. Maybe we won't have to fight them. But he's all like, no, they do have to fight. And he just mud squirts me. What the, what? What attack is that? And um, my whooper doesn't know that. What? So it's stupid. My Whooper only has like two attacks, and I'm mad. I don't know why half my Pokemon don't know all their attacks. Probably because it's some dumb, like old thingy going on, but I don't care. And, okay, so our Whoopers can't be friends. What are you doing? Oh, your Whooper likes to take my bats, mine does too. They could be such good friends! Ugh! So, he ruins their chance of friendship, and my Swablu just has to own him. And so it's like, okay, I'm gonna go explore up this hill, cause going up the hill to get some items would be fun, right? But first, I encounter a... Mareep! And it's like, it just touches my heart. Look at his sad little face, he looks so lonely, so I'm like, I don't wanna leave him out here to fend for himself the rest of his days until he grows into an Ampharos and dies, maybe gets chopped up in a lighthouse, like freaking Quasimodo Ampharoso, and um, <laughs> what the hell? So, I catch it, <laughs> it's like, yay! So, <laughs> I'm never gonna use that thing, I'm sorry, I just felt like catching it because it looked cute, and yeah, so, I don't know, something came over me, I just had to catch it. So here's the other camper dude, he just ditched his girl in some rocky corner, and he's over here hiding, I guess, because he is the meter in mail, and it's like, whatever, I'm gonna kill you, because you're a jerk. And, um, yeah, he doesn't even care. And then he's all like, um, yeah. So he doesn't want my phone number, which is good. So I'm gonna put on this rappel, and, um, 
I have no idea how repel works. Seriously, do you spray it on yourself? Do you spray it on your Pokemon? Do you spray it like freaking pepper spray in the other Pokemon's eyes? I swear, like a pigeon pops out of the ground, and you're like, Psh! it's like ah, and it, like flies away, and like a Clado comes up, and you just go Psh! and like coat its eyes, <laughs> and it starts crying. That's terrible. So, never mind, that's really bad. And you probably, I just probably spray it all over my hat or spray it all over KO or something like that and just keep some Pokemon away. Guaranteed for 150 steps for your money back. Actually, don't get your money back. It's not fair. Speaking of money, there's this, <laughs> this one guy. I want, he's like, do you want to buy a Slowpoke Tail for a hundred trillion zillion dollars? I'm like, yes, please, can I have one? He's like, um, no, you don't have the money. I'm like, Dude, I'm probably the only girl that's gonna come along and be like, I want a slowpoke tail, and you just like totally, like, deny me my slowpoke tail. What? It's like missed economic opportunities. Ugh, screw this. Whatever.